Welcome to CS Unitex Pipe Cutting Machine Setup Tips. Assemble and place the guide chain on the pipe. Be sure all of the open end of the individual chain links are all facing up. Connect enough links together to have a two to three inch gap at the end before attaching the three piece chain link tightener. And only hand tighten snug at this point. Assemble and place the tensioning chain on the pipe. Utilize the proper carriage guides based on the pipe size. Carriage guides required for pipe diameter sizes, six to 16 inches. Use the small carriage guide, 17 to 32 inches. Use two large carriage guides, 33 to 48 inches. Use three large carriage guides, 49 to 63 inches. Use the one small and three large carriage guides. Open up the guide carriage tensioning rods all the way to ensure proper tension on the pipe during final assembly setup. Once the tensioning chain and carriage assembly are affixed to the pipe, tighten the tensioning rod snug and run one of the carriages around the pipe a few times to align properly. Attach the rear end of the motor to the carriage guide first using the large compression pin. Attach the front of the motor to the front of the carriage guide using the smaller compression pin. The arrow on the side of the safety guard indicates the blade direction assembly. The arrow on top of the motor housing indicates the cutting or pull direction. This means that when using the pipe to push or pull the machine to cut, always move in the direction of the straight arrow on top of the machine. For a metal cutting blade, use the spacer that came with the saw for proper alignment. For a black ductile blade, no saw spacer is required. For the pneumatic setup, be sure to secure the air supply safety cable. Any questions or concerns, call us at 855-930-1186. Please refer to the operating manual for complete instructions and safety information.